Hello, my name is Dom. I'll be your museum guide today. Today we'll be exploring our newly opened exhibit, Dinosaur Train, the Traveling Exhibit. Here we have the time-traveling dinosaur train. In the PBS show, Buddy the Tyrannosaurus Rex and his friends ride the dinosaur train to travel to different time periods of the Mesozoic era. In our exhibit, you and your family can use your imaginations to ride the dinosaur train to visit the Triassic, the Jurassic, or the Cretaceous, three of the time periods within the Mesozoic era. While the train might not move, you can use your imaginations to take you to any of these three time periods within the Mesozoic. Now, whether you're new to Dinosaur Train or you're an expert of the series, there is so much to do in this exhibit other than just look at the beautiful train itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other activities that we have. Over here, we have a nice imagination and pretend play area. We have a campfire where you can build a nice delicious meal for your family. There's a leaf tent where you can gather up and tell stories to each other. And there's a fun little log here that you can crawl through if you'd like. And right next to the campfire, we have Kelsey, the adult Tyrannosaurus Rex's friend, the Triceratops. This is our adult Triceratops from our collection. And the very first thing that I notice when looking at this Triceratops is just how large and bony those horns are. What do you think Triceratops would have done with those horns? You know, I think they would have used them to, to scratch each other's backs. I mean, how else were they going to scratch their backs, right? We have lots of dinosaurs here in the exhibit. Kelsey is just one of them. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and move on to the Junior Conductor Academy. This is an area where there are lots of hands-on experiences that encourage you to practice your paleontology skills. Paleontology is the study of dinosaurs. Did you know that there is a dinosaur name for every letter of the English alphabet? There are 26 in total, and I'm going to spell out my name just for fun. My name is Dom. So when you press the letter, it plays a song that says the dinosaur's name. Dinoticus, okay, where's the O? Ornithomimus, okay, and M is? Megalosaurus, very fun. Uh, there's a lot of other things here in the Junior Conductor Academy. I think let's go check out this collections case over in the corner. Here you can see a collection of dinosaur skulls from our collection. And you can even use your hands to feel what dinosaur teeth might have felt like. Here we have a replica of a T-Rex tooth. And we also have a dental battery of a Corythosaurus. So we have an herbivore and a carnivore. If you look at our case here, I wonder what types of food that a carnivore, such as this velociraptor, might have eaten. You know, it, it's probably really tasty if you look at it. It looks like it's really smiling, so it's probably eating something really tasty. There are so many other activities here in the Junior Conductor Academy. Uh, I think the last one we'll look at today are this dinosaur diets activity. Uh, as we talked about just a second ago, there are herbivores that eat just plants. There are carnivores that eat meat and omnivores that eat both. So in this activity, you and your family can take the food discs down here. One is meat, one is plants, and you can feed the dinosaurs specific to their diet. So I've got a plant. I'm going to feed this herbivore here. Om nom nom nom. As you can see, it does eat these plants. If I try to feed it meat, oh, it doesn't eat it, right? The herbivore just does not want to eat that meat, right? But the carnivore will, of course, and then our omnivore will eat both plants and meat. I could feed these dinosaurs all day. They're really hungry. Let's go ahead and move on to a different section of our exhibit. You can visit the Junior Conductor Academy while you're here. Lots of hands-on activities in this area. I think we're going to take a trip over to the Cretaceous Crossing. Over here is our program room. You will not want to miss this area when you visit our exhibit. In here, you and your family can choose to participate in a whimsical duo of staff-led activities. First here, we have the Cretaceous Cuisine Cook-Off, where you and your family can cook a delicious meal for a passenger on board the dinosaur train. The dining cab chef needs your help because this dinosaur has a very special diet that they need to accommodate and you can help build that meal for them. 
And then next, we have the Lost Luggage Adventure, where you and your family can save the day by searching for clues to identify the owner of a lost suitcase that was left on the dinosaur train. Uh, both of these are really fun. You don't want to miss them. Check our website or the program room doors for showtimes, and then make sure you get here early for your selected program. As we continue along, we've got a viewing area here with some dinosaur train episodes and a beautiful photo op for you and your family behind a train cutout. But, <laughs> but I want to take a look over here at the big pond, which is one of my favorite sections of the exhibit. This is the big pond. If you're a fan of the show, you'll see that that is a very iconic location in Dinosaur Train. It is where Buddy the T-Rex and his friends search for clues about dinosaurs and learn as much as they can. In our big pond, you'll see there is a dig pit here. And it's a little bit different from our other dig pits. You see there are bigger chunks of mulch rather than the tiny little specks of dust that we have. And in this dig pit, you can use paleontology brushes like this to excavate clues and find fossils from the Mesozoic era. So let's go ahead and try it to find a clue here. Because I think I see a lot. I'm going to brush this one off here. And I don't know, what do you think this is? This looks like some sort of claw to me. That's a pretty big one. Maybe that's like, maybe that was a claw of a T-Rex. Maybe it was another meat eater. But this is definitely a giant claw. Uh, you and your family can search for all sorts of fossil clues here in our dig pit. I'm going to go ahead and put this brush back for the next person. Continuing into our exhibit, we've got a play table here with some dinosaur toys that you can use your imagination and play with. We also have a little bit of a quieter area, so if you need a break from all the action, we've got some dinosaur trade and board games here. You can play as Buddy, Shiny, Tiny, or Dawn, and you and your family can see who can start and get to the end to the big pond first and win the game. We also have Mrs. Pteranodon's nest, where you can take a seat, try on a pair of Pteranodon wings, and tell each other dinosaur train stories, or just relax for a few minutes. Or you can even take a look over here at our other collections case and find out where baby dinosaurs came from. Where did they come from? Uh, oh, oh yeah, of course they hatched from eggs, right? And you can even feel a Therizinosaurus embryo inside this bronze sculpture, if you'd like. Of course, there's one more stop, and that is to board the dinosaur train, right? So we're going to go ahead and get on the train from this ramp here. As we board the dinosaur train, you'll see there's a lot to do here on the train. We're going to go ahead and around the corner to Pteranodon Station. And we need our tickets, right? As Mr. Conductor here is saying, all aboard the dinosaur train, tickets, tickets please. Well, I don't have my ticket yet, so let's try to find some tickets. Over here in the station, you'll see there are tickets right here. Of course, you can choose which time period you'd like to visit with your family. You have the Triassic and the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. I think I'm going to visit the Cretaceous today, because that's where our friend Kelsey the Triceratops would have lived. So I want to visit her. I've got my ticket. I'm going to go ahead and place it here in the ticket box so I can now board the dinosaur train. We've got our passenger cab here with another dinosaur train board game for you to play while you wait your turn. And then whenever you are ready, you and your family can go ahead and board the cab here. And you're going to want to blow the whistle to let you know everyone's leaving. And then you'll ring the bell to leave and start your imagination visit to the Mesozoic era. All aboard the dinosaur train! <laughs> 